Hey there, how's it going? What is up, everybody? Irish Orangutan is back to pass along what you need to know to get better at Madden and grow your mutt team. Enjoy the show. This Saturday, I want to bring you a quick video about the legends that came out today. Um, at this point in the year, they are absolutely top-notch players. They could be the best at their position if they have the speed and the height to kind of come along with those other attributes. Um, as you all know, a Bobby Bell can kind of tick off the community. So um, I don't know what everyone else thinks about these guys, but I was very excited to see a couple of them a few weeks ago, and they are now coming out um, when other cards have kind of surpassed them and um, have lost their luster a little bit. But first we have Lorenzo Neal here. With positional hero Kyle Juszczyk, this player is a little bit outdated even though he came out today. His speed is four lower. The one thing that Lorenzo Neal can do better than Juszczyk is he can lead block and you can hit a defensive lineman and potentially match up with him really well. As you can see, he has that 95 strength and the impact blocking when he's running into that defensive lineman they're going to run into a stalemate when use check and probably go back a step. So that is the one plus for him, but use check can be used as a wide receiver much, much um, more easily. Obviously that catching is just significantly better and use check actually can do a little bit better as a tight end. Um, I guess he just has one better run blocking, but it looked a little bit better when um, I had that zone run on him and I was looking at that earlier. Um, but just one better isn't that significant. So Lorenzo Neal can line up as a tight end and can be halfway top notch as that as well. Next up, we're going to be looking at the limited time. Actually, before we get into the last player, we have Michael Strahan uh, at six foot five. A little bit slow at this point his power move is the thing that is absolutely monstrous for him and he has a solid block shed to go along with that very smart player as you can tell he has been able to turn his football career into kind of a showbiz career and he does a wonderful job every time he is on TV but this card at this point in the year is coming out and is not the best I've not played with Strahan um, Obviously was a little bit of an enemy of Washington, but they weren't ever really all that good when the Giants were dominating with Strahan for those, well, not necessarily dominating, getting to wild cards and making good runs to the Super Bowl um, with Strahan and Eli. But um, very excited um, to see Strahan and the last of the captains come out so we can move on to someone else if that is something to be excited about. And the last man up today is someone I am very excited about. As you can see on the right, we could have just went to the binder to look at him, but we will try to compare him with a couple of other people there. Um, the one knock on Daryl is his height, to be perfectly honest. He had never let that affect him in real life, but in the game, it might affect him a little bit. Um, compares very well with Deion Sanders. You're going to see him come out and make a lot of plays. If you're putting him on Tyreek Hill and Brandon Cooks and just kind of line up by height now instead of by speed, since all of your players are exceptionally fast, that could be something that you really want to do, um, especially if you're playing middling, or not middling squads, excuse me, but uh, middle of the road type um, players. You'll be able to line up with them and they won't have um, Terrell Owens and Randy Moss and Calvin Johnson clear across the board. They'll probably still have a Hill or a Cooks in there since they have came out and were very, very good earlier on in the year. And Daryl match up very well with them, put him in the slot. He plays very well against the run, better than a Dion would. Um, has agility to definitely match up with any of those guys, cross man very, very well. So put him in at safety. He can do that job also. So uh, that is what we have for today. These players I would not key on this week. I would wait for a week to have them dip below the rest of the Ultimate Legends and continue to focus on those positional heroes as people are finishing up those solos and those are very inexpensive. So a little bit of a down Ultimate Legend um, weekend, but um, I'm very excited about Lorenzo Neal and Daryl Green. At this point, Lorenzo Neal might not find a spot on my team, especially with him being as expensive as he is. 
but Daryl has already made it and we are gonna see how he moves in just a little bit. Uh, let me know if you are going to pick up any of these guys. Um, I would definitely wait on Strahan until next weekend so you can use training on him and that will help out immensely. But let me know down below. I uh, wish you all the best and take care. Thank you for checking into the Irish and Rantain channel. Keep coming back for more mad knowledge. That will be consistent videos up every week. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to see them all. Come by Twitch to engage and hit me up on Twitter at Irish Rantang. Take care and much love everybody.